let me do this. Oh yeah, Angel, send your email to support at your artful journey dot com. Okay. Just bear with me because I don't know what I'm doing. I like to did you get an idea of what I'm doing? Oh, that's huge. <laughs> that's what she said. Um okay. So I'm not going to figure out how to fit three of these in here. Now, for those of, those of you who prefer to um, use a pencil and tell me this makes you feel uncomfortable, um, sometimes the best things that happen in life are the ones that feel you make you feel the most uncomfortable. So just... I don't like a pencil with an eraser, so if this ends up being close to what I'm doing, great. If it doesn't, oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Don't worry. We'll figure that out. Um, I just skimmed. Oh, that wasn't even... Okay, I should have used one of the pens that I really love, but that was a Sharpie sitting right there, so I just did it. All right, who said sunset colors? I kind of love that. I heard teal, I heard white, I, oh, angel. Now I gotta really, really paint this because she already said she wants it. Oh, angel, what colors do you like? Why don't we ask the girl who already knows what she wanted before she even knew she wanted it? Yeah, what colors do you like? Can I pull the mic closer? Sorry, I cannot, but I can talk louder. Is that better? Okay. Don't worry. These will be zhuzhed up. I just needed something to start with. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Papa, can you hear me? I have a new singer that I'm completely obsessed with thanks to my parents. So I would like to thank the over 70 and 80 crowd. Oh, she's loving the blues. I love the blues too, girl. All right. So... Her name is Lucy Thomas. Oh, shoot. This is the Woodland set, but I was just looking for blues. They're just out of order and kind of funky right now. Uh, I'll, I'll fix this when I'm done. Here we go. Blues. You said blues. I left these out for a reason. Okay. I mean, the girl's got a request. The girl's got a request. So anyway, Lucy Thomas. And I know if, some, if all of you just say, I already knew who she was, I'm just going to be so bummed. I've listened all day to her, and I've been singing at the top of my lungs. And she's some young person. I absolutely, oh my God, no, there's not, there's no particular song. I guess she sings with her sister. My parents gave me the whole backup situation. So, um absolutely in love all day on uh starts with uh, a and ends with an a if i say her what what is going on with my water that's already dirty anyway um a completely obsessed and i was just listening to her at the top of the volume and she does a lot of cover stuff i think she's very young but she sounds like a young so or she sounds like a celine dion which my parents love celine dion so um, and I do too. I love Celine. So that was very refreshing all day long. All day long. Um, I just, I just jammed to her music and I don't think the word jammed because I told my parents to listen to Cody Johnson. So we, we exchange movies and we, they're on my Netflix account. They don't know they're on my Netflix account. Um, they think that they're on it and I'm not paying for it. But they don't want me to pay for anything that they do. Um, but I'm just paying for it. Just added them as a user. And so we exchange movies and it's just something fun. And now we've started exchanging singers, which is even more fun. I know. 
Lucy Thomas. The reason I'm singing the Whitney Houston cover is because she just sang it right before I went on. And, oh. Now, you know, I, I just was obsessed all day. And I was working and, and singing at the top of my lung. Lucy Thomas. So she said, blues, I'm gonna do, 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 do. Just, just have fun. Blues, she said. So I just pulled the current set out and I'm just going to go in and just a lot. There were some Barbara Streisand remix. There was Celine Dion. There was Whitney Houston. I mean, this girl can belt it out. Uh, yeah. Uh, so with Netflix, I had too many users, and so I just decided to pay for my parents. But they were like, eh, it's a problem. Don't bother. We don't read. But I know they watch it because they watch it more than I do. Uh, are you good with these colors? So I'm really big. Uh, you know, I just love that we share. And now we've been all watching sports movies. Like, that's what I do at night is I'll paint your art journals that you all want. Oh, you know what? Um... Angel, I'm sorry. We gotta drop some purple in there. We're just gonna just dab some purple in there. I just felt like it needed a little bit of purple. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Is list. Uh oh, Angel, you're gonna get a hair across the. Um. So I I was listening to her all day long, and I just was obsessed. And I have to thank my parents. And by the way, if things don't move around, just do a little bit of that. Lift your book up. I will be using the markers, by the way. I love to share. I, I wish I could get on here and just play music and we just create to me because that's what my favorite thing is to do. But I can't actually do that because then there would be copyright infringement and I'm not into that. So mm. it's not my jam. Just like I don't want my copyright infringed. I don't want to do it to somebody else, but uh, I just enjoyed my day listening to her, her all day long. My dad gave me like the whole, I think she was on some sort of, oh, I think she was on some show, like, uh, what do you call it? Like The Voice? I don't know. I don't watch any of that stuff. So. We're just mixing all the colors. We're just going to have some fun. Oh, I guess these flowers don't have stems, do they? Well, they'll have stems by the time I'm done. So for my overthinkers out there who wonder, is this going to turn out because the colors are too mixed up, um, just have fun. Uh, this is a half hour demo, and I, I want to reiterate the word demo uh, again. Sometimes I get emails saying, I would appreciate if you would give me the list of products that you'll be using in advance. I don't know. Um, I don't know that because this is a demo. Uh, I get on here. It's a half an hour of painting. I uh, I save the good stuff. We get together in your artful journey. I had so much fun on Monday. I literally had so much fun on Monday. I was talking to somebody and I said, I haven't had that much fun. Oh, it was Anne. I hadn't had that much fun just creating in so long. I mean, I, I had fun, but it was fantastic. Okay, she said blue, so I heard her, but there's a lot of green in here. I know it. And for those of you who say, I can't control the colors. Well, my goodness, we don't have a lot of control over anything. Let the watercolors go. Did somebody want a white flower? Because I can do that too. But I was hoping there'd be a little color in here. But this background is kicking.
Oh. Now. Oh, she loves white. Okay, cool. I'm just taking... This is like the midnight blue. I'm just going to take that across. Oh, sorry. Evelyn says, how do I do it with watercolor? Well, Evelyn, I'm going to show you. hope I put that tape down tight because i got a lot of water flowing. You got a lot of water flowing. By the way, I'm using a six round brush. I do have these brushes. I have to reorder just about everything. But I have to wait until tomorrow until I find out if I have a uh, fit the amount of journals that are going to be coming. Somebody made a boo-boo. Oh, thank you, Anne. By the way, Anne is like the biggest brainstormer in the world. She sends out these ideas into the universe. Were you so proud of yourself on Tuesday, Anne? Uh, you lit a spark in me, just so you know. I, I so appreciate when we have we have my team meetings and I tell everybody there are no bad ideas and I mean it and holy macaroni I needed somebody to kick the creativity into my shins and they did. All right, let's let that dry because I can just sit here and add color all day long and I don't want to do that. Okay. And by the way, I will not be using white in watercolors. That is the one I never use white. That is not my jam. But I feel like there it could be white in here if you want. They could all be white. And tomorrow I will put that restock of those art journals in once I figure out if the guy needs a pallet or a forklift to get him off the truck and put him somewhere. That made me a little nervous. I It's just me. Okay. We want this to dry. So we'll speed it up. Hair dryer, heat gun. Now I'm feeling like we should be yellow. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I think tonight I'm going to break my don't have a glass of wine in the midweek rule. Because I just had a day. I mean, not a bad day, just a day. And I would like it in the Oh, I, I get a lift gate. Yeah, that's not a thing. Yeah, uh, thank you. No, I, I get that. They give that already. But I used to have a pallet jack here, and so they knew that. But now I don't. So I sold it. It's taking up too much space. No, they do a lift gate, but they always ask if you have a forklift. They don't want to use the lift gate. And I used to have a pallet jack, but all right. I get deliveries at work for a living. So I just never think. When they called me, I was like, she goes, hey, this is so-and-so delivery for UPS. And I was like, why wouldn't UPS just pull up in a brown van with a guy in a brown outfit and a pair of shorts who looks kind of cute? And, and she's like, oh, no, we're the freight. For UPS. I'm like, why would I need freight? Why wouldn't they just put it in a box like UPS and they normally do? So that's why I'm nervous. I think there's going to be some situation where we're going to be having a big journal sale because instead of reading the correct quantity, I ordered twice and, and the invoice was way more than I thought it was going to be. So the answer is, you know, it's probably just me. Just me. I'm 
the amount of stuff that I cost myself. All right, I really have to have these guys have some color. One of them can be white. I think this one will be white. These two need to have color because I'm just obsessed right now. This guy is, oops, could we possibly rinse our brushes before we start? Sorry, rinsing my brush in clean water is not a prerequisite for painting. All right, it's, it's kind of like a just good luck, I hope it turns out. Now I just looked, the color of this is all jacked up, so let's move this. And let's just let this run. Let this run. Don't worry if the blues start going in the whatever. You can leave a little white gap. If it starts flowing in there, we'll be all right. I'll make this. I'll make this. This is for those of you who just don't know where to begin and you go, do I begin with a drawing? Do I begin with a, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Begin where you feel the most comfortable. How about that? Uh, oh, goodness me. Uh, is this going to be red? No, that's going to be red. This is going to be. Let's make this one red. Oh, didn't really want that red to go sinking down there, but that's okay. Now, how many of you hit the ugly stage? Like, oh goodness, we are past the point of no return. Don't worry about that. We'll find it. We'll find it. Okay. Now we need this to dry. Like I said, if this starts to get out of hand, just dry that off and pull it back. See how I'm pulling it back? Dry it off. Pull her back. There we go. I don't care about that one. This palette is called Terrain, Karen, and I have that one in stock. Make sure you don't own it, girl. Who's painting with me tonight? Kind of force that dry. Oh, I love this. I, I actually love this palette. I I love the greens in it. Now I am gonna do something that I hope just doesn't ruin this, but oh oh I know what I'll do. 
I don't have any clean water, obviously. So, so I'm just going to do this. Come on. I just wanted to throw a dash of purple right here. Just, just a dash. Oh, love it when you guys paint with me. Okay, just a dash. Just a dash of purple will do, man. So I had like 15 orders last night and this morning I got up and the first thing I did was just like, I'm going to go bust a move. I think I got 10 of the 15, no, 11, because I have four left. Unfortunately, the shipping department is me too, so. I love it when you guys paint with me. So I just, even though this guy is still white, you know, this little guy, I just wanted a little bit of purple in here. Just so it just didn't look like it was stark white. I hope Angel's okay with that. But her name's Angel. She probably is like super nice. And then I'm just going to dry and back this up. So guess what? It's white. For those of you who thought I was going to use white watercolors, no, no need. Okay. Put this aside. I do uh, upload everything to my website, so it's under free tutorials, and I list all of the supplies I've used, so don't worry about that. I keep everything aside. Oh, now you want to make sure this is dry because uh, pens do not like, here we go. I do have my Molotov marker, markers out. I'm just going to grab that one. They There are 11 tips in this, so just remember that. My I have two sets here, so I'm just kind of rummaging through them. All right. I love these. Oh, yeah, I want that out. Painting along in Wisconsin. So, are you dry? Yeah, you're dry. Now I'm going to come in here. I'll just move this and I'll try to bump my hands aside. It's kind of hard when I'm drawing. I don't want to think of a point. So this is where I look at somebody said, oh, I bought that set and I took all the, oops, that's wrong. I took all the lids off and I mixed them all up and I was like, oh goodness, but they're all marked there too. But I was laughing because she said, oh my God, I didn't realize they had the thicknesses on the lids. I was laughing so hard. Basically, her email said, how do you know what the thickness is? And I said, well, it's written on the barrel, and then it's written on the lid, and she had mixed the lids up. So cute. I'm like, oh, goodness, you're going to be you're gonna be asking me for a while. But no, she got them all fixed. Generally, I'll hold one. They'll be in my hand like so. And then I'll, um, I just leave them loose and then I'll just pull from the lids. Looks like a white flower to me. And we're going to throw a little bit of acrylic paint in here. Super Bowl weekend. I 
I really don't care who's playing um because my Detroit Lions are out but um I'm having friends over I got a new TV for Christmas I haven't had a new TV since uh maybe when I was in college because I brought my TV uh, I never really cared about I don't care about TVs but when you have a Super Bowl party, you start to care because then people are like, hey, we'd like to all be able to see the screen. So I am having people over and um, it'll be fun because I've got, I have something new. I, I don't really like watch. I mean, I watch like Peacock on my phone. I just weird about stuff. Oops. Too thick. Which one is that? Oh, that is like. So. Kind of thought, you know, in the slight off chance I would be going to Vegas. Uh, I definitely am excited about halftime and I am super excited about the commercials. There is a I don't know what is going on, but I'm obsessed with the. Is anybody seeing the Lay's? potato chips commercial with the guy in the register. I think it was only Groundhog Day because he goes up and he's like repeating himself and it was a Groundhog Day series. I don't know what it was, but I was obsessed with those commercials and my friend, I kept saying, I kept calling him like, there's another one, there's another one. Yeah, so I, I love commercials. So I'm just using, this is the point three. So I'm able to just skirt this across the top and it's not too dark, it's not too light. I'm gonna run to you. Do I ever use um, colored markers? I do mostly colored watercolors. I don't do a ton of like, I, I own some colors in the Posca pens. Um, I just don't like, I don't have the set of 952,000 Sharpies. I actually just prefer black. Um, these are actually, this black set, like I said, this is my main Right now, I probably could just go through. They last, they've lasted me forever. I mean, they do really good and I abuse my pens. So I don't really have large quantities of um, colored, only colored watercolors or Tombos. I like Tombos too, but it's not my norm. I'm not like a marker. I, I don't do a lot of it. Some Posca paint pens, because I'd rather use acrylic paint if that is my, I like colored paint. But I love colored watercolors. We've used them in your Artful Journey. I have a membership group where we deep dive. This is just a free demo. I know a lot of people say, oh, you're done in like a half an hour. Well, no, we do other stuff in your Artful Journey. We don't just do... I make, uh, we talk about this, uh, if you're a member of your Artful Journey, what I encourage you to do is do Wednesday nights as a quick exercise. Now I'm just going to come in and fill in and make these, make these guys come alive. Uh, every month in your artful journey. So we've done watercolor pencils. We've done watercolor. Oh my goodness. We've done so much watercolor pencils, watercolor markers. We've done, we do different techniques. 
and we deep dive every month. We just had Creative Time Live on Monday, and it was probably one of my most favorite projects and most favorite techniques that I have never done. It was just an accidental technique. We are going to have stems off this, but I'm going to have to make these. Which one, Elizabeth? The watercolor markers? But Tommy asked me, any bladders today? Um, I could, but I was actually, oh, that's a thick pen right there. Um, mixing them up in my hand. Uh, I was actually thinking about something else, so bear with me. You guys have way better memory than I do, man. Oh, I always love when I start to do the shadowing on off the tape, and then I realize nobody's going to see that part. How are we doing? One, two, three. Yeah. Does this guy need a leaf? I hate having just four leaves. I like three, but this guy's bald. Yeah, I don't want that. Just a little guy right there. I usually keep them in order of size in my hand, so I just so I don't get them mixed up. Sometimes it happens. I'm a rock See, one of them got mixed up. Point nine goes right. There we go. All right, let's grab. Oops, I gotta grab it out of my. Da -da -da. Actually running out, so let's see. This is acrylic paint. Just say, oh no, it's not. It's dry. There's nothing left. Hold on. I know I got another one somewhere. It's translucent. Open one. Here we go. I need it. White paint. Sometimes when it's this dark, it's good to throw some white in there. This month in your artful journey, we're doing um, violets. That's why I'm not painting violets. I heard two requests for violets. Nope, that's what we're doing. We just did a cool project last night. I never use content from your artful. I don't use that content for here because... Okay. I'm 
back to the uh, see i don't even use a pasta i could use a pasta right here if you have a white pasta and you want to do that i i don't do that i like I know this is going to somebody. I just want to make sure that they're so happy. I'm going to go a little bolder on these. I'm going to commit to the leaves I was unsure about. But now I'm sure that they're there. So, Okay. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. All right. I kind of love the way the green goes up there, but now I'm thinking, yes, I could splatter it. Hmm, I'm thinking, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. By the way, I'm going to gloss this as far, I'm going to, I always seal my artwork. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking. A good splatter is good, but I really only want that over the flowers. Hmm. Hmm. Really just want the splatter in here. Because if I were going to splatter up there, it would be like the night sky. But see, these flowers would be curled up. Uh, I could splatter it. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. I am going to cover this so I don't jack it up. And then I am going to, uh oh. I have paintbrushes and every. Okay, here we go. I have paintbrushes everywhere just because of what I'm doing. I always put these little shoe boxes that have my paint like when I paint a project. So I'm going to do a little splatter splatter. Hopefully not too much because I feel like I got a lot of water, but so I have these little shoe boxes and they're everywhere. Okay. I'm going to do it. I really want to hit the good. 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 And then I'm going to do it in white. Do I want them down here? Hmm. I don't think I want them down there. I just decided I didn't want them down there. So I just did it up there, but now I'm going to do it in white. Okay. At least I think I'm going to do it in white. Oh, now I'm doing it white and black because my... Let's test that. Okay. Don't. If you notice it's not going on. Like don't. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Just. Just. Okay. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, Tracy. No need for too much. Let's spray this in a lovely glossy color. And then I'm going to take this. We're just dancing. I'm going to come in and just darken up the bottom a bit. Not the top so much. Mark your calendar. The next art challenge is going to be in March. So guess yours truly. Daisy's at desk with little stars coming. 
Uh, Anne, could you please email me daisies at dusk, please? Because I needed a name for this. These are angels, daisies at dusk. Okay. There's our name. Sometimes it just hits me. I mean, now I want this to dry and then I'm going to, I'm going to actually, uh, spray what's in the tin oh this is just uh archival ink stamp pad it's not a tin yeah do i want even more up in there or no just leave it it's i just want more because i can't do anything without overdoing it i'm a taurus we overdo everything there we go yeah yeah we overdo everything Harry Wheatley, we do paint on denim tomorrow night. I can't wait to remove the tape. Let's just hope I put the tape down strong. Angel, this one's for you, girl. I'm gonna run to you. All right, I will make sure that I list all of the supplies, including the sealer that I'm using, which is a deco art. Ooh, I don't want to use a brush on sealer. Well, guess what would happen? <coughs> if I use a brush on sealer, it'll reactivate the watercolors. Now use this in a well ventilated area and follow the manufacturer's instructions. I seal everything. I paint especially for those of you who buy from me because if you want your artwork to hands forever angel loves it bum, 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 bum. oh i hope i really adhered this because this tape is a prank all right ready freddy let's take care of the tape so far so good so far so good i was kind of worried about that i'm heating up the tape Makes it come off easier. Oh, love me a good bond on a tape. Lucy Thomas. Lucy. Uh, I will list all of my supplies on my website. Usually comes out by next Tuesday. Should be, everything is listed. Video, everything. Okay. Now, make sure to sign your artwork. If you're proud of it and you know it, sign your artwork. All right. I'm getting giddy. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Hold on. I'm looking for one of the 5,000 pens that I threw back in my bin. Okay. Oh, that is an awfully thick pen. Must I sign it like that? Okay. You should work. Oh, now that's too thin. <laughs> oh, what can be? Okay. There we go. We're done. I will put aside all of the supplies that I use. It'll all be listed on my website with a, I usually hyperlink everything so you know. And I'll put those in order, including the watercolors I used. And Angel, this book is for you, my love. Okay. Okay. Okay.